We're recording? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Alex. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, guys, so today we're going to talk about what if I cannot create the weight distribution in the manner in which we have worked on thus far in this entire semester, i.e. I cannot bridge them toward my head and get them to post their hands, right? Now, there's a number of, like, it, there's a number of ways that he can basically facilitate this uh, happening, right, in the sense of preventing it from doing Can I get you underneath the now, please? The simplest way is that, and this usually happens when I, if I'm the bottom person, maybe I've tried this kind of a little early, I didn't pick the right moment, and so he got the top person to go, well, why is that you're doing this? So what might happen is, as Jim goes to bridge me, just lean back and surf. It's actually that simple, right? He goes to bridge, lean back and surf. And if you're savvy to this, then as long as you can kind of time your opponent's bridges, you can stay kind of stable with it. Now, this gets kind of like when you're the top person a little dicey because there's not really a ton of offense up there. So you do have to eventually come down to attack. That gives us so much work. But he's not being offensive. He's trying to just hold the position and maintain control. So again, if I go to bridge, you just kind of like push your hips forward and, and lean back. Like, right, he just kind of surfs. Right. So I cannot distribute his weight forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch gears and distribute his weight somewhere else. So I'm gonna let's try to do that really slow. So as I bridge and he kind of leans, what I'm gonna do is find my hands on the midsection, not dissimilar to where we have the hands on the belt in the, uh, the butterfly sweep, but I'm gonna kind of post my hands on his ribs. And my goal is at the peak of my bridge is to lean him towards a side. Okay. In this case, it'll be my left. Right. So we're in the mouth. I'm here. I, uh, I go for a big bridge, he kind of pushes back, so I lean him towards the side. Now, I want you to do a favor and post on that hand and try not to fall. Yeah, so I'm here, big bridge, right. So what I've now done, guys, is redistribute his weight. Instead of over my head, I've redistributed his weight to the side. Now his points of contact are his hand on the mat and his one knee on the mat, because this like there's really no weight on this, right? No, I would have it. Right, this is what we're gonna use to our advantage. From this moment, I have a number of different options, okay? The easiest thing that I can do is just, and really all of these movements are going to be predicated on, I just need to shrimp the heck out of here. Because he is going to want to just push back in and recover, right? So again, let's go back to the top. So I bridge, he pushes, hit. I'm shrimping away. Once I get to this point where this, uh, what would you say, back leg, so the leg on the opposite side of the posted hand is... Uh, retracted or like free from inside the mouth. Uh, my first best option uh, is I keep this pressure on his midsection. So if he tries to push into me, like I have some, I have a frame on. I'm going to whip up to my leg, come up to a single leg. Okay. From here, uh, we'll just go with the simplest possible option. There's a lot like the, the single leg position is a little bit more nuanced, but a little bit more this way. Perfect. But the simplest thing I can do, I catch a gable grip around the back of the knee. My head finds the hip bone. And my goal, and Jim, just watch your right hand on this. I don't want you to roll your wrist. Is I'm going to take his kneecap and I'm going to put it over his butt. Right? So he's here. His knee is facing the mat. I'm going to lift that thing to the sky and turn him over. And then I'm here in the open guard. Sometimes you get the pass out of that. Like, you go all the way to the top. Or here. I go to bridge. He Tip, 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 up. You can pass them right away. Not all the time, it just depends on the situation. So our first option is hook the knee, and that motion, invisible hunt it, is I have the single leg, like gable grip, and I am just gonna take his knee and throw it over his ass. Throw it over his tuchus. <laughs> yes. His rump. So that's one. Two. From here. Same principle, I bridge, I tip, he posts, I shrimp, shrimp, right? And this one is a little bit more like, uh, you know, I lose some points of contact because at this point he might want to try to push back into me, so his posts are going to be helpful for that. Let's say that leg stays where it was up. So, in that sense, this is less uh, effective, but it, it does offer some advantages. Is I'm going to come up to my elbow, technical stand up, and then I'm just going to rest. Pull him down. Now, instead of thinking about coming inward to the single leg, I think about coming outward to a technical stand up. And then the last one, in the map, same scenario, I go to bridge, he serves, I tip, I scoot out, and maybe I found it hard to clear this leg, right? So, and can you see 
my left leg that's under him. Yep, sure can. Cool. What I'm going to do, I still have these posts, so try to push into me, I still have them out. Inside knee comes in, outside leg comes over, hit my single leg out. If we're playing leg locks, I have a really tight fight on my heel hooks. Obviously, we don't do that really in this class, but it is there. Um, or, you know, another thing that we didn't really get into this when we did the single leg X last week, let me go back to that scenario, is what's going to more commonly happen, but bridge, he serves, a tip, I'm shrimping, is that as I get to the single leg X, Jim, I want you to think about keeping widening your right knee as I push into you. Like, keep hopping to the right. Right. It, it's more going to take him backward, which will allow me to get out from the knee. But you see what I'm saying? Like, he's less likely to just tip over. If it's a kind of a dog fight. So pretty simple stuff today. Again, we're just redistributing weight just in a different direction. Uh, you want to see all that? Uh, yeah. John, can I So let's see if we're going to be in the space in the camera. Let's try it this way. So again, the situation. I'm going to try to bridge and bring him forward. Just kind of push your hip forward and lean back. Right. He kind of serves the weight. And this is where, like I said, where this will usually happen is. I've missed time to my bridge. So maybe I did it once. Like I did a kind of a, let's say I bridge you, you post, and then you come back right away. It's like, ooh, and he comes right back. So now he's like, okay, that's, he's bridging. So once I go again, he just kind of surfs it. And you can find yourself stuck in this loop where you're trying to tip him back down and it's not working. So what I'm doing is, I'll go slow on this, as I bridge, kind of similar to the post, I'm uh, putting my frames in on his midsection at the peak of the bridge. And as I drop, I post him out that way. Now I have these two posted arms, so if he tries to push back into me, I have some frame. From here, my first option, I just spam shrimp until this back leg comes free. I'm whipping up, coming into a single leg, and then from here, watch your right hand on this. Uh, let's say this right knee is a little bit wider. Yep, I'm just going to take his knee and throw it over his hips. Again, there's more nuanced ways you can finish that single leg, but that's not really our focus. One. Two, same scenario, I bridge, I tip, I scoot out, and I just don't feel like, maybe I feel like he's following me, I don't feel like I can come in, I just pop my elbow, and say, get out of here. And then third, bridge, tip, I'm trying to get out, and I just can't quite clear this leg, but I feel like it's more like up here. So this inside knee comes in, Outside knee comes out, and more than likely, I want you to hop away with your right knee as I push you. He's going to hop right to get space, which again puts us pretty well deep into the leg lock system, but also just gets space and gives him a good guard. Does that make sense, guys? Yep. Any questions? Cool, let's partner up, work out. One, two, three!